Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, I, I've gotten the story on why uh, work was stopped on the round tank. Uh, Dave is not happy with how they're bending these, uh, the, the, bending this corrugated iron, steel. Uh, they're putting what amounts to a little dent there and then uh, bending it. I, I David had a suggestion on how it be done and I'm going to try that uh, just for uh, just for uh, to uh, well to appease David and satisfy him that uh, things were uh, uh, all options have been uh, exhausted. I just think that the radius on this is too tight. This is only how 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 far is it, Tatai, from center to center? Five meters. Yeah. I just think it. I just think this is too tight to avoid uh, bending to to avoid uh, a kink in this uh, metal. Now, Tatai, Dave had a suggestion to just put it between. Uh, one guy's legs and just try to bend it that way You know you might be able to get a couple inches out of a out of an eight-foot leg like that with before you before it would crease and and Dimple and wrinkle like it is But on this on this much of a radius You know you've got you've got to get let's see if I can get all this panel in one shot here that's a that's like a foot, and if you took a if you took a string from this line to this line and ran it back across that way, I'm sure that would be close to a foot. And I just don't think you can you can bend this a foot in eight feet and try to get it to fit. You may. Yeah, let's try. So bring a sheet of that down, top eye, and I'll I'll uh, yeah, it's not even gonna. You can see, top eye can push that just a couple inches. Let me see if I can do it this way. No. Um, David was saying, "Put it." Be Gina said, "David said, put it between your legs and uh, just twist, and it'll bend." Look, uh, the thing is, is it's there's no way to get this to bend in a curve that much because you're going against. You're going against the natural curve, and this is so thin. You know, I have seen. Uh, I I bought a surplus. I bought some surplus panels from a large silo in California about 20 years ago. But that steel was a quarter of an inch thick, and it was factory rolled. The curve was rolled in it in the factory, and. Even at that, it was only about eight inches yeah. in a twelve-foot section. We're trying to get a foot out of this in an eight-foot section. This thing is maybe sixteen. It's easy to bend. If it was sixteen gauge, it'd be easy to bend. Yeah. I, I tend to agree with you, Tata. It's just so thin. <sighs> Here, do this for me, Tata. Go, go get me that stick right there. I'll hold this. You can see it, there is some some give to it, but even a bar. Were you, you guys were using the bar? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't think that there's enough. 
because you can see that I can I can get a little bend in it about two inches like I said before it I can feel it it wants to give up uh, and it'll it'll make a kink in it I'm gonna let Tata go get that bar and we'll see if we can we can bend this over just a little bit but I'm just thinking you know these poles are about seven feet apart which is an eight foot sheet so we're trying to get a, a one foot bend in seven feet of this of this roofing and you know here listen well it's not going to make the noise usually on the on the real thin sheets it, it's like it shakes it's like you're shaking a little bit of oil but this is the thickest you can get here Right, real easy, Tata. Real easy. Just now hold, hold that right there, Tata. Hold that, because that's about as far as it will go. A little bit more. All right, hold that right there. Can you hold that? Yeah. You can see that curve, maybe. I don't know how how well you can see that curve. That's about the maximum you can bend one of these. You might be able to get another inch if we were to make bend here and bend on the other side of that. We might get another inch out of it before it starts to before it starts to fold and collapse like those. That's maybe I'm trying to eyeball it. That's maybe an inch. So yeah, you might get a very maximum of three inch bend out of that before it fails. I'm sure that you could put this, if this was wider, if this was like 15 meters wide, 15 or 20 meters. yeah, 15 or 20 meters wide, uh, you could you could bend this around, but I just don't see it happening to get that much of a bend. Five meters is very hard to go. Maybe six inches from the line. We put a compass marker, six inches. You think that would be the maximum? Uh, no. The, uh, the way to be maybe six inches. Put I don't even think you can get th six inches out of that top tie before yeah. it kinks. I think three is about the most you could three, get. The, the maximum being in, like this is three inches. Maybe. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But if you but if you try to get eight or ten, well, here, t bring that sheet. Bring bring that sheet here, Tata. Here, just put one end down there. Just so this is the curve that we're trying to get. Yeah. The span of my hand is ten inches. So yeah, we're trying to get a foot out of it. And there's just no way to get this to bend a foot without kinking. And the reason Tata and crew were making these little dimples every six or eight inches or so is so that they would be little dimples and not just big giant cranks, uh, big giant kinks, so that it would completely fail. Now, you know, I, David wanted to stop. Uh, because he was of the opinion that it was destroying this, but look, uh, for your for your uh, reference, David. Even though this might look a little a little ugly, this this is not damaged. There's no there there's no uh, if if this had just been one bend. Then there would be there would be breaks at the top and the bottom of this little fold here, but there's so many and they're so uh, close together that it it minimized the amount of these little creases here and there's no damage to this, so it may not look as a as aesthetically pleasing as you would like, but there's no structural damage to it. There may be a slight loss in 
strength because it's collapsed a bit but there's there's no real damage to this and there's well there's two ways to proceed because there's no way to bend this let's just get that out of our heads there's no way to bend this without it making a crease so eliminate that idea so there's two ways to proceed either continue along uh, the way that it is the way or the way they've been doing it or an expensive fix would be to put a ring of form bar all the way around the bottom and another ring however high you want it uh, another sheet I guess this is supposed to be the height Tatai or one more that's how wide is that two and a half and I think he wanted it deeper than that well I guess we're kind of waiting on the liner all right well regardless um, an easy fix for this not a not a cheap one but an easy fix for this see here's the thing this this roofing will bend easily this way you can you can fold it into a circle yeah. without it damaging it uh, so the only other way that I can that I could think is a ring around the bottom yeah like this yeah a, a form bar ring around the bottom another ring at whatever height that you wanted I'd cut these in half and make it four feet mm. and uh, every two feet you weld a piece of either a piece of angle iron or a piece of flat bar depending on how much strength you wanted so the ring comes around this way the top ring comes around this way and right here between the two you've got a piece of angle iron or a piece of flat bar you weld it at the bottom weld it at the top just a little tack weld and then you can rivet this my plan is like this now what was your what was your plan Tate? We have a thick, uh, thick hot bar. I will build and then I form round, maybe two lines. Yeah. And then I cut this, uh, maybe two, and then put here, and then take the hot bar round. Very easy. Yeah, well, that's that's very easy also. Yeah. It's basically the same thing, right? Two two rings. Two rings. Yeah. And instead of so instead of putting a horizontal rib like my idea, you just yeah. attach it directly yeah, to the form bar. Mm. Okay. Maybe two four inches flat bar. And, and so and so you would rivet each you would rivet each piece together. Yeah. Yeah, and eliminate the rib. Mm. Okay. So yeah. there you, well, there you go, David. Now you got two options. I tell Gina then I said. Uh, let me see like this. No, no other option. Um, yeah. For me, very easy. We, we put up that bar brown and then cut in total pieces. Yeah, cut in half. Yeah. Yeah, cut, cut right here. Very easy, no damage. Yeah, cut right here. Yeah. Could just cut it in half so you got a four foot wall. And then they have a uh, by uh, no nails. Mm, what do you call that? This one? Rivets? No, no. Like a. Like a no. What, a metal screw? I don't know. I don't know what he's. Mm, this one. Oh, caulking? Oh, builder's one. Oh, yeah, and you'd use that for the joint? Yeah. So no rivets even? No rivets. Uh, what is this, like a, a caulking glue? Mm. Construction adhesive. I wonder if this is okay for, to use on metal. Mm. It bonds wood, concrete, cement board, metals, masonry, ceramic, and glass. Well, I guess that covers it. So... Um, 
David, I think you got your feelings a little bit hurt uh, because things weren't going exactly the way that you had envisioned. And all I can say is, is um, everything on this farm is a learning process. And uh, uh, you can learn as well. The radius was too tight. This metal was too thin. Uh, so it's on to plan B. And since you're you th you're the one that's been gracious enough to fund this whole project, uh, the option is yours. Uh, pick one. Um, either continue the either either they continue doing what they're doing, or we put a ring around the bottom and four feet up like Top Tie wants to do, or put the ribs in like I want to do. Whatever, David. But uh, let us know. Uh, today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday, no work is going to happen. Uh, who knows about this typhoon, so probably nothing is going to, not a typhoon, but this tropical storm, probably nothing is going to happen Monday either. So you got a few days to think about it. Uh, so let us know what you want to do. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.